Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Libra, 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 Libra. What's up, baby? Libra, what's going on, sugar? Hey, Libra, hey, 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 Libra. Hey, Libra, let me see you pop, lock, and drop it. Pop, lock, and drop it. That's an old song. That guy actually passed away, too. Um, I think he passed away like a couple years ago, if I'm not mistaken. His name was Huey, right? I think that's the name of the guy that sung that song, Pop, Lock, and Drop It. But I don't know where that came from. That just came out of nowhere. Libra, are you dropping it like it's hot? Okay? Touch your toes. <laughs> All right, Libra, what y'all doing? Y'all out here touching your toes. Okay? It's going up on a Wednesday. Okay? It's the middle of the week, but damn it, it's Friday in your mind. <laughs> it's the weekend in your head, Libra. You turning up. I don't know, y'all giving me the energy of like somebody here is like really excited, happy, dancing, running around, just twerking and shaking some ass, Libra. Let me find out, okay? Don't hurt nobody, okay? Don't fuck around and blow your back out, Libra. Don't catch a hernia, be careful. If you ain't got Megan knees, don't drop it too low, okay? Libra, what's going on? Welcome back, baby. Welcome back if you guys are returning and welcome if you are new and tapping in for the first time. Libra, I'm so happy to have you here with me. Y'all know this channel is dedicated to y'all for real, for real. Libra, sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, no. What's going on, Libra tribe? What's up, Libra baby? How you doing? How you feeling, sugar? I hope all is well with you and yours. I hope you all are feeling blessed. Hope you all are feeling beautiful because you definitely are. You're so beautiful, Libra. You're so handsome. Hope you're feeling motivated, inspired, dedicated. All right. Hope you're feeling like you have a true anointing over your life. I hope that you are feeling God's favor. All right. I hope that this year is feeling amazing so far, Libra. May it only continue to get better and better and better, Libra. Thank you for all the love and support y'all been showing me. Thank you for all the likes, comments, shares, subscribes, donations. I greatly appreciate it all, Libra. It's so nice to wake up to all the love, all the comments y'all be giving me and the donations and stuff. Like, when I be waking up to it, I be like, damn, Libra. Like, y'all just be loving on me. Y'all just be loving on y'all Libra sis. And I'm just, I'm here for it, Libra. I'm so here for it. Like... <sighs> Libra, come on, baby. Like, don't nobody love like you, Libra. Don't nobody love like us. A Libra's love is truly one of a kind. It's always remembered. It is felt so deeply, and it's always remembered. Libra, your love is one of a kind. You truly make an impact on others. You know that, right? Yeah, y'all know that. That's why some of y'all got motherfuckers stalking y'all right now and can't get over y'all and begging for another chance. Because I'm telling you, Libra, you really, like, leave an impact on people. I can't make it up. Empress, here you go, Empress. I'm telling you, Empress, I can't make this shit up soon as I cut the deck. All right? Like, come on, Libra. I shuffled two times and you just popped out. Big Empress energy, Libra. Come on, baby. Like, you really make an impact on others. Like, I'm telling you, your loving is one of a kind. Whether it's romantic, whether it's just you being someone's friend, you know, being someone's confidant. It's just you being around people. It's like people will never forget you, okay? Even though you got people walking around here lying, acting like you hurt them or you destroyed them in some way, I, I'm telling you, these people, they won't get hurt by you again because they just want to be around you. It's just something about your energy. It's just something about you. Like, these people that's also saying that you hurt them, betrayed them, or anything like that, these same people also wish that they still was a part of your life, but you still was with them, or they still had some sort of access to you. Trust and believe that. So the people that are saying that they've had good experiences with you, and the people that are saying they had bad experiences with you, you won't believe it, Libra, but they all still want to be a part of your life. Libra, you are one of a kind, honey. And I'm telling you, whoever this Knight of Wands is, this the main person that's trying to come back in. Somebody here won't come at you like a bat out of hell, child. Okay, somebody here won't come flying in, come rushing in. All right, like somebody here is just ready to just rush in. Okay, but this person, it's like they don't really have the best intentions. Okay, this person's energy, I'm not feeling, I'm going to be honest. Like, I feel this person's energy right now. 
and it's not the most positive it's not the most uplifted it's not the best energy yeah the knight of cups knight of cups in the reverse yeah this person's energy is a mess okay we also got the ten of pentacles in the reverse yeah it's like this person want to come in they want to say something they want to come in quickly but it's like mm -mm. like whoever this is their energy is not it's not in it some of y'all could be dealing with a Gemini or an Aquarius. Somebody here could have Gemini or Aquarius in their chart. But something's going on with someone's finances, okay? <sighs> something's going on with someone's finances, all right? Whoever this is, they may want to make you some sort of offer with this Ace of Cups. But I'm just telling you, it's just something off about this person's energy. Somebody here want to make you a love offer or even um, be a friend. Like somebody here want to come in and befriend you buddy buddy <clears throat> okay be mindful of people wanting to come towards you during this time these people are all working together who can befriend libra who can connect with libra who could make a, a libra a love offer because these people are under heavy judgment and they're getting karma so they're working behind the scenes to see who can come towards you because these people actually need your help now Somebody here wants to contact you. I'm telling you, somebody here wants to reach out to you because somebody here actually needs your assistance. They actually need your help now. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, I need to go towards Libra. Um, but damn, not me. Because Libra definitely don't fuck with me. So what about you? Like, this is how these people are talking, okay? Libra, you're a big deal. Empress, there you are again. Libra, I'm going to leave you up here because you keep coming out. You're showing up as the Empress, baby. But I'm telling you, you're like a big deal, for real, for real. <clears throat> and people want to come towards you. Somebody here could even be using children as a form of contacting you. So, listen, take it as it resonates. That's going to resonate with somebody. But some of y'all may even have, like, children hitting y'all up. And it's like, so-and-so done put their child up to hit me up. Like, I'm telling you. And then for some of you, this could even be, like... A ex of yours like their kids i'm hearing something weird like that too like let's just say you had an ex and they had children and their children really took a liking to you this person want to come back towards you so it's like they could even be putting their kids up to hit you up like libra we miss you you know we miss you you know and it's like daddy really miss you right their father really miss you but these kids hitting you up talking about they miss you. I mean, the kids probably really do miss you, but they didn't take it upon themselves to hit you up on their own. They daddy gave them your phone number and told them, contact Libra, tell Libra you miss them. See what they say. You know, like it's really giving that energy. And then for some of y'all, it could even be family members. Somebody here could be putting up a child to contact you within the family because these people are too shameful to contact you themselves so it's like they send it in the innocent they send it in children okay libra a response to so-and-so libra a respond to little ray ray so tell little ray ray to hit libra up you know like it's giving that kind of energy oh man libra <laughs> people trying to get at you man they trying to talk to you but I'm telling you, they're not in the best energy. And whoever this Knight of Wands in the reverse is that keeps showing itself, yeah, this person is not it. They also, uh, they're also they also connected to a Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so a distorted feminine, a karmic woman. Somebody here that could be very egotistical, very materialistic, very money hungry. All right. Somebody here that could be very narcissistic, have narcissistic tendencies. But Libra, you showing up as someone that's very loving. Very calm, very balanced, very stable, very patient. Some of you could have Sagittarius or water placements, okay? So you could have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or Sagittarius, highly aspect in your chart. But somebody here is expecting you to just be like this ball of light. <coughs> and I, <coughs> Libra, excuse me. I'm not saying that you're not a ball of light because you are. You could also have Leo in your chart. But you are a ball of light, Libra. You are very happy. You are very radiant. Your energy is very um, magnetic. But let me just say something. These people must not know that you also carry that Queen of Swords energy as well. Same way you carry the Queen of Cups, you carry the Queen of Swords energy as well. The Empress embodies all queens. And I feel like this is what somebody's not realizing. You are the Queen of Cups. You are the Queen of Pentacles. You are the Queen of Wands. And you are the Queen of Swords. Okay, Libra? You are all of the, all of those queens, all of those queens, all of the above. The empress embodies all of the queens. So somebody here is just looking at you and this 
Queen of Cups, temperance energy. Like Libra so loving, Libra so calm, they so balanced, they so happy. Temperance in the sun, they have harmony and peace in their life. They're so lovable, they're earth angel, they're goody two shoes. Libra, somebody here is um mocking you, like poking fun at you, mocking you. Okay, especially if you know who you are, you know you're an empress, you know you're an earth angel, and you've already disclosed this information. These people know this too, but they're mocking you. For some of you, this could even be your own family, okay? Some of y'all came from a karmic family, Libra, okay? But these people are unhappy because the cycle has closed out between you and them. They're worried about this. These people have also been lying on your name as well. And these people are codependent on you and your energy, which is why I don't understand why they betrayed you in the first place. I will never understand that, Libra. Like, you got people that's actually codependent on your energy that have lied on you and upset because they burned a bridge. They burned the bridge between you and them. And then they got the nerve to be mad. What you mad for? You did that shit. You burned that bridge. You know Libra was always going to love you. Libra was going to be around. Libra would have took care of you. Libra would have shared with you. Libra, anything that you accumulated, you would have shared with some of these people. But they chose to hop on the bandwagon to destroy you, to tear you down, to lie on your name, to slander you. These people joined smear campaigns, all types of shit. These people joined in on bullying you. They chimed in. Or they just watched, didn't do shit. They just looked on. They just watched on. They was just a bystander. A bystander is just as guilty as the person that's doing it. So, I mean, come on now. These people are mad because the cycle has closed out between you and them. And they're mad because you're happy. You're balanced. You're at peace. Somebody here is actually upset that you are in this balanced energy, Libra. The fact that you have peace, happiness, balance, and harmony being restored in your life. Somebody here is really upset about that because they don't have that. They're in a nine of swords. This is somebody that's panicking. This is somebody that's overthinking. This is somebody that's stressed. This is somebody that's in fear. They're worried. Somebody here could be worried and in fear about your gifts. Some of you are very gifted. You definitely very intuitive. Libra, you're showing up as the high priestess. Somebody is in the nine of swords right now all about your intuition. How the fuck you be knowing what you be knowing, Libra? How you know we ain't shit? How you know it was us? How you know? Who told you? God. Okay. <laughs> Libra, you a true high priestess. That's that's who told you. The most high himself. That's who told you. That's who tell us. Mm -hmm. That's who tell us. You want to know how we be knowing shit? God be telling us. He be telling us. He be letting us know. And our ancestors too. Okay. <clears throat> but that's who be telling us. Okay. Somebody's in a nine of swords about this shit. How the fuck you be knowing shit? Okay. Somebody here mad. You know, because whatever they did, it was foul. Justice in the reverse. That shit was foul. Whatever somebody did here, was it, it was fucked up. It was foul. They know it was wrong. They they know they a liar. They know the truth ain't in them. They know they was foul. They know they was... Somebody here know they was foul. They Come on, these people know they was foul. <laughs> and they stressed out because you know they foul too. And you wasn't supposed to know. The tables have turned. Will of Fortune in the reverse. Some of you, these people been doing you dirty for a long time. Some of y'all been turning a blind eye to it because you just have such a big heart. And then for others of you, you may have truly not even known. But, you know, as of recent, you know. You know. The tables have turned. Things have been exposed. You can see things clearly now. You can see people clearly now. And your intuition is heightened. It's like you could have always been intuitive. But, I mean, it's on another level right now. Some of y'all could have had, like, some sort of ascension some sort of upgrade and awakening, okay? You could have uh, raised your vibration. You vibrating higher than before. Everything is heightened now. Your senses are heightened. You, like, pick up on every fucking thing. It's like you just a, a meter. Like, you're like a walking meter. Like, it's like you pick up on everything. So, somebody here all up in their head about that, okay? But we got a divine masculine here, child. Labor, you showed up as the empress in the upright. I put you over there, babe. You know I always put you over here. But we got an emperor here now. We got a divine masculine. We got somebody here that's equally yoked. Somebody that's in this emperor energy, okay? What's going on with this emperor? Somebody here may have an onk tattoo, whether you or them. Or somebody here could wear an onk jewelry. Somebody here may have an onk necklace, onk chain, right? But what's going on with this emperor? Somebody here could be born on the 4th of a month. Somebody here could be an Aries, a Taurus, a Scorpio, a Leo. They could have that in their chart. But there's somebody here that want to come towards you, okay? 
<coughs> Five of Pentacles in the reverse. So somebody here want to come towards you, Libra, because they feel like you are a soulmate of theirs. Whoever's in this emperor energy feel like a strong soulmate connection to you. All right. This person could be a Gemini as well. Or you could have that in your chart. You could have Gemini placements. But somebody here feels like you're a soulmate of theirs. And so they want to come back towards you. This person could be at a distance from, uh, excuse me. This person could be at a distance for some of you. Okay. This is somebody that could be long distance from you right now. But this is somebody that definitely want to come towards you. Okay. But I'm telling you, Libra, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's like you're not, I don't know. Let me see what else comes out. But for some reason, the energy is just giving me like, you're not welcoming this person with open arms. Something about this is like, hmm, you could be side-eyeing this emperor. You're like, hmm, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we got a three of pentacles that just fell out. Clarify this three of pentacles. <coughs> King of pentacles in the reverse. So this person could be working together with an earth sign, possibly. Maybe a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Or somebody with strong earth in their chart. But they're working together with a distorted masculine that could be very money hungry. Very superficial, okay? It's giving me male gigolo energy here. You may also be viewing this person as that type of energy. Somebody that's a male gigolo. Somebody that's um, very money hungry, materialistic, okay? Has a inflated ego, but this person is ready to take a leap of faith. And I feel like if they're not this King of Pentacles in the reverse themselves, they just embody this energy as well. But they could be working together with a King of Pentacles in the reverse. And this person could be encouraging them to take a leap of faith and come towards you. Okay, there's a King of Pentacles in the reverse that is setting somebody up to come towards you. It's like, why don't you go contact Libra? Go, go over there and talk to Libra. And this person like, all right. Look at this motherfucker. They coming. Chariot. They're like, okay, I'm, I'm going to go. Somebody here could be a Cancer. Somebody here could be an Aries, an Aquarius, a Cancer. They could have that in their chart. But there's a King of Pentacles in the reverse that's setting somebody up to put somebody up to come towards you. Okay? But this is a missed opportunity. Like, whoever this is that's being set up or put up to talk to you or come towards you, this ain't going to go as planned. You don't want nothing to do with this person. Okay? And I'm hearing there's no hard feelings. Like, it's no shade. Y'all not trying to um shit on nobody. But I just feel like you respectfully declining an offer here. Yeah, this is a missed opportunity. This is rejection here. Okay? Definitely. Ace of Cups in the reverse? Definitely. And somebody here is, like, fantasizing about you, wanting some sort of new beginning with you. This person could also be, like, fantasizing to be intimate with you, really lusting after you. But you don't feel the same. It's like the attraction is not the same. Like... And it's not to say that this person is not attractive. Again, I'm not shading nobody. But it's like the way that they coming towards you is not how you feeling. I knew it was like that. I knew it. I could feel the energy. Libra, I said, I'm going to let the cards come out. I'm going to let the cards talk before I say anything. But I had already knew that y'all wasn't really on the same type of time as this person. And this is, this is confirmation that y'all not. <coughs> Ace of Cups in the reverse. Ace of Wands in the upright. Two of Cups in the reverse. They want a passionate, fresh start with you. And you're saying that it's a missed opportunity. You don't you don't want it. And that's why the two of cups is in the reverse. It's unrequited. Okay? The feelings are not mutual. It's unrequited. So there's that. Okay? Like straight like that. Spirit ain't waste no time letting us know what's really going on here. These feelings are definitely unrequited. Yeah. Some of you have two options or multiple, okay? But we got to there go that Knight of Wands in the reverse again. This Knight of Wands in the reverse is definitely a hell no for anybody in the Knight of Wands in the reverse energy. <clears throat> but now you got a King of Wands showing up as well. Somebody here could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. Somebody here could have strong fire in their chart if they're not a fire sun sign. What's going on with the King of Wands? Some of you feel like this person is a burden. You feel like this person has created some sort of burdens for you in the past. And you could have released this person because of that. This is also somebody that has a hard time communicating their feelings, okay? And this is somebody here that wants to, they could have stopped dealing with you or you could have stopped dealing with this person because maybe you found out that they was in a connection already. But now this person is saying that they're leaving that connection, okay? They're saying that they're leaving that connection and they want to come towards you. But Libra, you're showing up as the queen of swords. <clears throat> what I said earlier, 
I said somebody is only viewing you in this Queen of Cups, Temperance, Sun energy, High Priestess energy. Like somebody here is viewing you as someone that's very loving, balanced, nurturing, um, somebody that's peaceful, Earth Angel, angelic energy, someone that's very happy, very happy-go-lucky, very, um, what's the word, optimistic, right? But somebody's not also realizing that you also embody the Queen of Swords energy. I said that. Lo and behold, the Queen of Swords came out. Libra, you ain't playing with these people. <coughs> you ain't playing with none of these motherfuckers. And somebody here that's in this King of Wands energy, um, they want to let you know that they leaving somebody or they have left somebody. But I just feel like that ain't you like, okay, what that got to do with me? <coughs> what does that have to do with <coughs> some of y'all saying? What does that have to do with me? Somebody here could have a Taurus moon or a Taurus Venus. <coughs> Excuse me. Somebody here do not want this message to get out, Libra. This is a damn shame how I'm over here choking on absolutely nothing. Somebody here do not want this message to get out. You hear me? Like, they really don't. Somebody here want me to shut the hell up. <laughs> they said, shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's what they say. I'm telling y'all. I still got some more to say, though. <laughs> Spirit said there's still some more messages that need to get out. So that's just what's about to happen. Period. Excuse me. Libra, give me a second. But yeah, somebody want me to shut up, Libra. Like I said, uh-uh. Keep your mouth shut, girl. <laughs> Libra, quick intermission. All right. Somebody said, uh-uh, keep your mouth shut, girl. Keep your mouth shut, girl. Somebody here is doing, um, Libra, let's just say you are, because um, y'all are showing up as someone that's very intuitive. Some of y'all could even be messengers as well. Maybe you even do what I do. You could even be a reader, okay, or messenger of some sort. I just saw a mental vision in my mind's eye of somebody having a doll, and I saw a thread, like somebody thread in the mouth closed, sealing the mouth shut, okay? Thread in the mouth closed, sealing the mouth shut. Somebody here is doing shut up um, work on you, some sort of root work to um, block your throat chakra or to seal your mouth shut, to close your mouth. But somebody here is threading. I'm I'm seeing thread and a needle and a doll and somebody closing up the mouth. Okay. <sighs> Lord have mercy. But anyways, <laughs> that's just a sidebar for some of y'all Libras. Okay. I'm also I'm sure it's my message as well. <laughs> I'm sure that was specifically geared towards me, but I know for a fact that some of y'all could also relate to that. Okay. Take the message as it resonates and leave what's not for you. Okay. Um, but yeah, this King of Wands here is somebody that is saying that they have left someone, okay? They have left someone. This is what they want to tell you. But I feel like you're standing your ground with this person. You are showing up as the Queen of Swords. And I don't really feel like there's going to be much happening here. With the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, it's just giving that energy of like, okay, you left so-and-so. What you telling me that for? And it's like, well, we could be together now. And it's like, mm, no. <laughs> Like, I don't know, Libra is giving no. Yeah, this person wants to communicate this to you. Like, they're ready. They're ready to tell you that they've left somebody or that they have divorced somebody. But this person is going to, like, it's almost like they're going to be heartbroken here, Libra, because this is not going to go the way they're expecting it. This person is hoping that when they come in and tell you this, that you'll be like, oh, my God, really? Like, you're single? Oh, yes. Like, uh, I was waiting for you, baby. <laughs> you know, like. In a perfect world, Libra, that's how your ass would respond. A lot of y'all are going to be like, okay, like you left so-and-so, what they got to do with me? <coughs> Congratulations, I guess, if you wasn't happy. Like, what you want me to do about that? It's like, oh, well, we could be together now. And it's like, mm, no. <laughs> this person's under heavy judgment, okay? Spirit is not going to allow you to be with this person, even if you wanted to be with this person. Look at all this beautiful energy you in, Libra. You're showing up as the Empress, the Queen of Cups, the Sun, the High Priestess, the Temperance. <coughs> like Libra. 
spirit is not going to allow you to be with this person anyway. This person is going through an extreme time moment, sweetheart. Okay, we just clarified the judgment. For, look, look, oh my God, y'all, look how this shit came out. I mean, I cannot make it up. These three cards just clarified each other. The three of swords came out first. We clarified the three of swords with the judgment in the reverse. And after the judgment reverse, we clarified it with the tower in the reverse. This person doing bad. This is somebody that's heartbroken under heavy judgment, big karma to pay, karma on their heads, extreme tower moment. Their world is turned upside down. Okay, this is an extreme tower moment. Motherfuckers flying out the building on fire. Extreme tower moment, extreme judgment, extreme karma, extreme heartbreak. Somebody here is down bad. And your rejection is a part of their karma. Your rejection is a part of this person's judgment. It's a part of their tower. It's a part of their heartbreak. This is how this is supposed to go. This is how this is supposed to go. You rejecting this person is exactly what you're supposed to be doing, Libra. It's exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Because this is a part of this person's karma. Somebody here could be a Virgo. <coughs> Somebody here could be a Virgo or a fire sign. <clears throat> Whoever this person is, this is a part of their karma. Somebody here could also be falling into a deep depression behind this. But again, this is part of their karma. Spirit is making it very clear that this is a part of their karma. I'm telling you. Spirit is making it very clear here that this is a part of someone's karma. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. That's how spirit is showing this. Yeah. And this is something. Yeah. Nine of Cups in the reverse. I'm telling you. You're being protected from this person. <coughs> you got another offer. You got another opportunity that's coming in. Another offer that's actually going to make you really happy that you're actually going to want to invest in. And they know this too. They just hoping that you don't know this or they hoping that you don't know who the offer coming from. So it's like if I give Libra, if I give Libra an offer, maybe they'll feel like maybe they'll think it's me. It was me all along. Like I was the one that was supposed to come towards them all along. No, Libra, you got something else entirely different. I'm really feeling new. OK, Libra, I've been telling you all this for a while. I'm feeling new. But with the Ace of Pentacles here, the Nine of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles, there's an offer coming in that's going to make you very happy that you're actually going to want to invest in. And this person knows this as well, but they was just hoping that you would think that maybe it was them. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting strong Virgo energy here. Somebody here could be a Virgo son. Some of y'all could be dealing with multiple Virgos. Or people that just got strong Virgo in their chart. Libra, you could also have strong Virgo in your chart. But I'm getting strong Virgo energy here with this Hermit. And I'm getting strong Virgo energy with this Eight of Pentacles. But I'm telling you, you got another offer here that's coming in that's going to make you very happy that you're going to actually want to invest in. <coughs> mm -hmm. Somebody here is very confident. They're very bold. Strength card. Somebody here could have Leo in their chart. But somebody here is very bold, very confident, you know, very strong-willed, strong-minded. And somebody here is finding this out and they're just watching you. I'm telling you, these, these people that want to come towards you and make these offers, they already know this. They know it ain't them. They just hoping that you don't know it ain't them. But you know. And you want to know why you know? Because <laughs> you've held to the point where your intuition is just like, I mean, it's... It's no getting around it. Somebody here want to block you. Somebody here been doing, uh, excuse me. Somebody here has been doing crown work on you. Somebody here has been working on your crown chakra. Somebody here has been working on your third eye. Somebody here has been working on your throat chakra, your mouth, everything. Like somebody here just wants you to shut the fuck up. Somebody here don't want you to see things clearly. Somebody here wants you to be confused. I'm hearing somebody here is doing mental magic, doing confusion spells. Somebody here wants you to be confused about what it is that you know. Somebody here know that you know the truth, but they trying to undo that shit. Somebody here trying to unravel your mind, like unravel your thoughts. <clears throat> it's like knowing the truth, but then your memory being wiped away. And it's like, oh, I don't even remember what I thought I knew. Like, it's like these people want to be a part of your life now because they sick, twisted plans did not work. So it's like they want to wipe your memory of you knowing what the fuck they was really up to. So that they could just come in and you'll be like, oh, yeah. Like somebody here want to have you programmed. Like, 
like under some fucking hypnosis or some shit. Somebody here want to have your ass in a sunken place. It's not going down. You're showing up as the high priestess and the star, period. You are a healer, okay? You are a seer. It's just not going down. It's just not going down. Pack it up, homie. I'm hearing these people need to pack it the fuck up. They need to pack it the fuck up. That's what I'm hearing. Pack it the fuck up. It's not going down, homie. Pack it the fuck up. All right. There's a queen of pentacles in the reverse here. That's just waiting for some good news. Okay. They just waiting to hear you've been binded. You've been stopped. You've been trapped. You've been locked away. You've been casted away. You've been dismantled and destroyed. This person is waiting behind the scenes so that they can rejoice, so that they can celebrate. For some of you, this person could be a Capricorn. They could have strong Capricorn in their chart. Somebody who could also be a Taurus or a Virgo, they could have that in their chart. But I'm telling you, somebody here is behind the scenes just waiting. Strong Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, strong Aries energy here. Somebody here waiting, just waiting. Any day now, any minute now, Libra is going to fall. Any day now, any minute now, Libra is going to fall. Libra's going to fall and we're going to win. We're going to celebrate any day now. Keep hope alive, y'all. Keep hope alive. Yeah, strong fucking uh, Scorpio, Virgo, and strong Scorpio, Aries, Virgo towards Capricorn energy here. These are people that are very fucking bitter, okay? Whoever these people are, they're very bitter. <coughs> and they just waiting for you to have some sort of fall any day now. Somebody here just waiting for you to have a fall any day now. Okay, but it's like all this magic that they're doing, nothing is actually working. You still got the six of wands and you got the king of cups. You got something solid coming in if it hasn't already. Libra, I ain't going to give you secrets away for some of you. It already came in, child. Uh, listen, that's, that's between you and the most high and your person. <clears throat> but your person is here. King of cups to the six of wands. This is good news, celebration, victory, success. Sail into calmer waters, you know. Libra, all is 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 still going down in your favor. Everything's still working out in your favor, period. And these people that want to start conflict and shit for you, they just gonna have to walk away. But Libra, even if they don't want to walk away, guess who walking away? You are. You've already walked away. You've already turned your back on this, which is why you're already in your new beginning. Like you're literally already in your new beginning, Libra. I've been telling y'all for so long. You got a new beginning coming. You got a new beginning coming. You got a new beginning coming. Libra, you're already in your new beginning. You already gave these people your ass to kiss. <clears throat> All of this plotting and planning and waiting for you to be destroyed, just waiting to get some news that you've been down bad or you've been hurt or you've been destroyed so that they could celebrate. Somebody here just waiting for a call. They waiting for a message. They waiting for something so that they can just rejoice. Like, whoo, I knew it was coming. You know, Libra, a strong one. Libra, a tough cookie. But I knew you could get the job done, man. Like, that's what they waiting on. <laughs> It's not going down. You've already walked away. You've already started your new beginning. It's not going down. You know, somebody here is just in an illusion. These people are still are in some sort of illusion. They are the ones that's in a trance. The same way somebody here wants you in some sort of trance or hypnosis and wants you blinded from the truth that you already know to be true. These are the people that's actually in a trance. They are the ones actually under some sort of hypnosis. They are under... The devil's illusion okay this is the master illusionist houdini himself the devil like they're locked and tied and binded to this motherfucker and he got a good tight grip on their minds here he fucking sucking on their minds on their brain like a fucking parasite these people have spiritual parasites and entities attached to them that's making them think that actually like something would actually still work in their favor it's really sad when you think about it but Libra, with the Eight of Cups here, you've already sailed. Six of Swords, Eight of Cups. You've already moved on to bigger and better things. You've already sailed to calmer waters. You're already living your best life. You're already in your new beginning, Libra. Like, it's really sad how these people are like, they want to fuck with your mind, but really the devil fucking with their mind. That's what's going on here. They want to fuck with your mind so much, but it's like the devil is the one that's really fucking with their mind. The devil is working these people's brain like it ain't no other. Like, these people are fucking delusional, man. I'm telling you, like, these people delusional. This shit is crazy. Like, somebody here is still anticipating some sort of good news about you falling in some way. It's not happening. <laughs> like, somebody here really think that they still have a fighting chance. 
the race has already been won. The battle has already been fought and won. It's over. And somebody here still think that they got a fighting chance. It's like the battle and the race has already been won. And somebody's still sitting in the bleachers. These people still sitting in the bleachers feeling like there's going to be a rematch. There's going to be another run. There's going to be another rematch. There's going to be another game, another show. Any minute now, they're going to call for a rematch, y'all. Just wait. Just stand in position. Motherfucker, it's over. Like, the park is closing. The arena is closing. It's about to start snowing. Like, there's no more games. There's no more shows. There's no more matches. Go home. <laughs> like, these people delusional. Libra, I hope that this message has given you some sort of confirmation, clarity, or guidance. I love y'all so much. Thank you for rocking with your girl. Thank you for tapping in. Thank you for listening, tuning in. I'm going to talk to y'all soon. Peace.